Hey, good morning. I hope this is a good morning for you. I hope you're waking up feeling at least happy. Um, you know, just even being happy takes energy and I know it can be hard sometimes. Um, life isn't always easy. It's not always a light load and sometimes you wake up feeling very heavy and you start your day that way and there actually are things that we can do to lift that even if it's just a little bit even if it's just enough to help us get out of bed in the morning and we'll you know go over things like that but some things can be the use of essential oils you can have some by your bedside and just inhale them um, even like peppermint or there's a there's a blend called breathe that uh, just opens up your airways makes you just feel a little bit more alive inside uh, might be just that little bit of something you need to just push you over the or push you out of the bed rather is a better phrase um, so anyway I've been up for a little while my routines in the morning are to take care of our dogs uh, my husband he uh, he's up and out early and I tend to take more time and so I <clears throat> feed the dogs and I go outside and let them out and clean up the poop so I have to wait till it's a little bit light out so that I can see and we've just come in from outside it's really cold this is the time of year too in January where it can be a little hard you know um, it's it's after the holidays and it's cold and we know we have cold for a while before spring comes and and really that mindset can get people into a slump and it actually is a mindset um, I, I remember knowing some people when I was younger and they were even younger than I am today but uh, they were older to me at the time and uh, they just hated the winter I mean they they just like uh, winter's coming and they they didn't even enjoy the holidays that much because they knew that it meant you know that good solid two three months of of winter weather so they decided to do something about it and they took up skiing and they absolutely fell in love with skiing and then now well then when winter would come I mean they'd look forward to winter winter then became their favorite time of the year so you see we're not all going to go out and ski, but we can change things. We can, we can choose to make our life happier. We can choose, we can choose to be more involved in something that will make our time we spend happier. <clears throat> it could be anything. Doesn't even you don't even have to. You know, winter could mean more. Um, this is the time I spend more time in my home and do things in my home, or spend more time with people that I love that, you know, the other times of the year I'm busy. So, you know, no matter what that is for you, um, you can use that. There should never be an excuse of, I don't feel good because it's January or because it's snowing out or it's raining for the fifth day. I mean, yeah, that can get you like that down, but you can also choose to go up. And, and so, well, actually, I'm just pouring my, myself my first cup of coffee. I love, I have my favorite, um, I love the old-fashioned coffee cup with the saucer. I mean, sometimes I'm in the mug mood, and I'm a real, like, touchy-feely person. So, like I said yesterday, I like to drink out of glasses that feel good to me, and I like the weight of them and the shape and the feel. Um... Coffee cups are the same way. Forks. I mean, everything I touch, you know, when we used to have the old phones, you know, I liked the big old heavy phones, the old fashioned where there was some weight to them. Um, so just, you know, those things are, they feel good to me. So when I use things that feel good, it's a weird little thing, but they make me feel good. It's almost a feng shui. It's an energy thing. So I, I mean, to me, a cup of coffee tastes better when I'm drinking it out of something that I like to put in my hand and feel and, you know, just I love it. 
And it's interesting, but this little, this coffee cup comes from a set of dishes um, years ago, back when I was in my 20s, and I um, was married to Mag's husband. He had a wealthy aunt and uncle, and it, the aunt was his blood relative, and so we would go and visit them down in Florida. And the, the aunt's husband went out in the garage one day, and he, he went up into the attic of the garage and he, cause he, he'd been wanting to clean things out. And he brought this box down and it was of these dishes and they're handmade, hand painted, beautiful dishes. <clears throat> and he said, here, you kids want these? And I'm like, oh my God, yes, I would love them. And I mean, there were platters and dishes and bowls and cups and, 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 and it was just, it was beautiful. And the aunt came out and she said, what are you doing? And he said, I shouldn't say her name. He said, you, we haven't used these dishes in 10 years. Are we going to give them to the kids and let them use them and clean this out? And you know how that goes. And really she was stuck. What could she say? Because if she said, no, I don't want to give them to the kids, then she, you know, it wouldn't seem very nice. So they gave us this box of dishes, and I still have them, you know? And I mean, I was in my 20s, I'm 64 now. So I, yes, it was a good choice. Thank you, I can't say your name, but thank you for these, it was, it was a wonderful gift. And you know what? If they had kept those, they probably would have never ever used them again anyway. So here I am with the cup. <clears throat> And I, I also perked some coffee in my, in my uh, percolator, and I love that. Sometimes I love doing those old-fashioned things, plus I think the coffee tastes really great in there. So, you know, that's, even this right here, this little moment, is it makes me feel good. It's a good start to my day. So how are you starting your day today? Are you, are you feeling ambitious or are you feeling kind of sluggish? Um, certain things that I do that make, they can, you know, get me going <clears throat> are, well, it depends on what's going on in my day. I mean, sometimes if we're doing something fun, it's easy to get up and get going and be motivated. Um, if it's just a regular day or if, if you're getting up to go to work and you're like, Ugh, you know, you don't like your job or whatever. I mean, there are things that we can do to just make, no matter what we do, feel better. Affirmations are very powerful. When you wake up in the morning, you can read, you know, if you want to set a goal of, of anything in your life, could be changing your job, could be getting a raise, could be moving to a different place altogether, who knows, what it, whatever the thing is you want, you read that affirmation and you, you, you're telling your brain, focus on this because this is really what I want. I'm going to be doing this today, I'm going to work, I'm doing my regular things that I do every day, but this thing right here is what I want. <clears throat> and if you have the vision board, you know, vision boards are powerful. Um, sometimes people think of them as uh, foo-foo stupid, and, and they're really not. They're, they're, they're training your brain, they're focusing your subconscious in on those things that bring you pleasure that you want in your life. So I also look at my vision board every morning and I just center in on that. I, I try to think of it throughout the day when I can and then at night before I go to bed, I'll look at it. And it's very, very powerful. And it can bring, it can raise that hope up. It raise, raises up that vibration of that thing that is that you want and so even in that in and of itself makes you feel more excited because whenever we have a goal of any kind it, it can it can make us motivated it can make us motivated to get through that day to you know keep earning that money that we're saving so that we can reach it or also when your brain f is focusing in on that thing you really want opportunities um, uh, things that you need to hear, just things come into your life, people come into your life, you overhear things, you get stuff in the mail, you <clears throat> see something on TV, there's just things come in that 
can spur your ideas on or can help you you know financially or motivation motivationally to uh, achieve that thing that you want so you know if 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 you already believe in it, then please do it. And if you don't believe in it, well, then just give it a try because it's been proven to work. And it, and it absolutely does. <clears throat> Even if it raises your mood, isn't it worth it? I mean, wouldn't you rather be in the, in the better mood? And, you know, it's just that thinking the better thought is always the better way to go. So anyway, I, I'm just going to enjoy my coffee this morning. I am going to... Feel appreciative. That's the other gift that we have. When we're in the state of appreciation, we are closer to source, to God, to the universe. We are, we are closer in connection than any other state of mind that we can be in. <clears throat> so if you want to be centered or grounded or you want to just feel a little better, then just go into that state of appreciation. Think of those things that you love in your life that you appreciate. And even if it's one thing, then think of that one thing and just be so grateful for it. So um, some essential oils that I use, uh, for that I used actually today, <clears throat> I went for Breathe this morning and I, I put a little breathe, this is a combination, a blend of um, peppermint and eucalyptus. There's some lemon, there's other oils in here, and it's just, it feels, it's, it's like a soft peppermint. Um, <clears throat> it's really awesome. So I've put some on my temples on the back of my head, I, I put some on my chest, and woo, it just like really woke me up. And then I had this little catch down in my lower left abdomen, and, and I felt it last night. And I mean, every step I took, I could feel, and it almost felt like, didn't even almost feel like muscle. It felt like, well, what is down in there that could be bothering me, you know, intestine? I mean, what, what, is, what could it be? I don't think it's my ovary. So anyway... <clears throat> I got some. I got some of my helichrysum uh, uh, out, and this helichrysum is really great for things like that. It's an odd. It's an odd smell to. It's like a dry, floral, kind of smell, but regardless, it's powerful. And I put some on that spot. I just topically. And it really feels better. I've known people that have used this um, over their gallbladders when they have had issues. And like this one woman, she had she was working actually, and she had almost this gallbladder attack. And she put some on, and she was able to continue working. You know, after about ten minutes. You know, until she could get to the doctor. So I mean, it was pretty awesome. Um, and then, and then I had kind of a, I don't know, I kind of had a feeling that I wanted to, uh, smell, smell good, smell sweet. And this, so this is Neroli. It's a, in a roller bottle. And this is one of their, uh, doTERRA's newest additions to their oils. And oh my God, it smells, it smells like a gardenia to me. And I, it's my favorite flower. So when I wear this, when I put this on like near where I can actually smell it myself and I can put it even a little under my nose, some on my wrists, you know, the pulse points. Oh my God, it's like this gardenia. I'm, it's like I've got a gardenia in my hair or something. And that just makes me feel good. And when we're smelling these smells, they send signals into our limbic brain um, that with, where we have our emotions and our memories and <clears throat> hormone function control then it can affect our mood so it absolutely affects my mood so I'm feeling pretty good this morning 
and I am looking forward to my day, however that should turn out. So, and I hope you are too, and I'll see you here again tomorrow, and let's just keep moving forward. And um, I wanted to end this with, um, when thinking, when thinking, think the better thought. It might not be the happiest thought you've thought, but it might be a thought that's even just a little better than the way you're thinking right now to bring you up out of that place you don't want to be in. And you have to choose, you have to choose to not want to be in that place. And then <clears throat> whatever you do, you know, do, do the best you can do. And that might not be your absolute best, but it might be the best you can do at the time. So our thoughts are very, very powerful. So just always strive for that better thought. Have a great day is, is in any way that can be. Make it better than, even if it's a little bit step, uh, a step better than um, like what I'm trying to say is, and you probably already know, you've already probably turned this off. <laughs> but <clears throat> if your day's not going to, if it's not going to be a, such a happy day, then just try to make it just even a little bit better by any little thing you do. Well, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to smooth that sentence out so it comes out a little bit better. But I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Jeez.